something a little bit different today. It's a little pocket chess thing, which is pretty cool. It's electronic, and it's made by Sysis, or Sky Sys, Sky Size, I don't know. Travel Mate 2. It says Sky Sysis, London, New York, Frankfurt, Hong Kong. It's like the, uh, the trotters, isn't it? Um, and what does it say there? Gareth Morley. Morley's? Something in Welsh. BBC Radio Wales. 32 Alexandra Road, Swansea. Oh, that's okay. I don't know if that is any... Sig I'm going to Google that. Right, I think I found him. It's, uh, it's this dude here. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure it's him. If we scroll down his, his CV, we've got producer, BBC... Kumru? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm really sorry to anyone who's Welsh. Cardiff, BBC Wales. So, what is this his? TV presenter, prospects, producer, BBC Radio, Swansea. So, 89 to 93, and that's what this is. This is Swansea. Wow. Hello, Gareth. Is this yours, Gareth? Does anyone know? Gareth, if you're watching... <laughs> Please explain why there's a sticker on the back of this with your name on it. Thank you. Anyway, let's have a look at the listing, more importantly. So it's this. I paid £7.20 for it, which is a lot of money. Um, but, well, I don't know, is it? Maybe this thing's worth a few quid. I don't know anything about it, really. It says, Sysis Travel Mate 2, or 11, could be. Chess, spares or repair, 1980s, retro Queen's Gambit. I, I don't know what Queen's Gambit is. Is that is that, is that a thing? And then the description says, blah, blah, blah. I haven't used it for years. I put three fresh AA bats in and the LEDs lit up. But the functions don't work. So it's spares or repair, selling as broken. All the pieces are here, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. Let's put some batteries in and see what it does. And there we go. Oh, it is nice. It is nice. And all the pieces are indeed here. Right. It needs a bit of a clean, but we can do that. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, it needs a bit of a clean inside there as well. Yummy. Let's see if it's working anyway before we start um, cleaning corrosion up and stuff. Let's pop some batteries in. That'll do. Okay. Oh, we do have an LED on there. Right, new game. Switch on. Okay, on. Press new game. To enter moves, press piece down, move, press down again. Okay. Move. Well, that all seems to work. Computer moves. Board lights indicate row and column. Right, we've got nothing lit up. Uh, maybe some of these LEDs don't work. Illegal moves, long low buzz. Right, so it's not that one. It's not that one. Well, it's none of those. So what's going on? Is it moving its... Yeah, some of these don't work. So, yeah, that one's not not doing anything. That one's not doing. Most of them do. It probably just needs a clean under there. But what I don't get is it's now supposed to be the computer's move. Board lights indicate row and column. And it's not. There's nothing lit up, so some of these LEDs must have gone. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take it apart. I'm curious to see what's on the inside of this anyway. It does need a clean, that's for sure. So we'll see, you know, if some of these LEDs aren't working, we can look to replace those. And, you know, maybe the rest of it is working. It's just some of the contacts are, are bad. Right, so it looks like we've got four screws, just little fillet screws on the back. Right, just while I'm doing this, I need to give a shout out to my Holy Hand Grenade patron. Patreon? 
which is Ty M. So a really big thank you to Ty M for your support and the support of any of my other patrons. There we go. Right, so we've got the little speaker there at the back, which was obviously working. Speaker wires are stuck down with sellotape, as you do. That is actual sellotape. The problem with sellotape is that it does break down after a while. It goes all gooey and sticky. It's horrible. So I'll replace that with some something else, some captain tape or something. Right, well this is interesting, isn't it? So we've got quite a bit of flux residue on the board. Yeah, these just look quite badly... Well, not corroded, but the, that, that one looks a little bit rusty. And I think those are the LEDs. Right, so because we've got wires soldered everywhere, this is going to be quite difficult, I think. I might have to unsolder everything. Or can I flip it around? I think I can. Right, so yeah, we have got some, some corrosion. Quite a bit of corrosion, actually. We've got some here... And um, we've got some round here, and on a few of these, which explains probably why they weren't working. So we'll give that a clean, and I'll just check, yeah, some of the solder mask is flaking off as well. We'll give it a clean and just see see what is and isn't working after I've cleaned it. All right, just before I clean it, I've just been looking at these LEDs, and that one lights up, that one does, that one doesn't. Does, does, doesn't, doesn't, and doesn't. So those, there's four there that don't work. And I think on this side we've got that one does, doesn't, does, does, doesn't, does, does, doesn't. So we've got three I think along there that don't either. But that might just be dodgy solder connections on this side. So. Like I say, I'm going to clean it up, I'll reflow these as well, I think, and then we'll see what we've got working and what we don't. Alright, I think I'm going to put this under the microscope, because I can see, I've just cleaned this up and I can still see some some corrosion here, so I just want to double check that these traces are okay, because it's possibly why a few of those diodes, sorry, those LEDs aren't working. You can see the state of the solder joints here. But I think it is just surface rust. And then here, again, I think I think they're okay. But I'm definitely going to reflow them. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty grim. Right, so we still have continuity from there to here. So I think these are okay, but what I'm going to do, this is going to take me a while, I think, but I'm going to go down and I'm going to just do exactly what I did there, take off the old solder, and I'm just going to replace that old solder with some new stuff. I think all this is just, it's just surface. Surface rubbish. Nearly swore then, but I refrained. I mean, it's possible there are some, some broken traces. I will go all the way around the board. Uh, but I think most of it is just superficial. But these solar joints are grim, aren't they? So, I'm going to do that. And then we'll come back once I've done it, I think. Unless you want to watch it. Press 1 to watch me solder all of these. Press 2 to skip ahead. Beep. Beep. Tell you what, you can watch me solder 1. And that's all you're getting. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of filling in the uh, the track as well. Oh, won't do any harm. Um, 
I've just thought while I'm doing this, there's I might as well replace these LEDs. So I've just got this bag of LEDs that I found in the shed. I think I've got enough red ones. I'm going to replace them all. As long as they fit in here. Let's just check. Yeah, I think they're going to fit nicely. So I'm going to replace all the LEDs with these new ones. Because I presume if some have gone, the others are going to go at some point soon anyway. So let's uh, let's do that instead. And now I have to undo my better than factory soldering work. I need to come up with a different thing than better than factory. So I could be wrong, but I think someone already uses it. Old LED on the left. New LED on the right. Slightly longer, but I think this will these will work nicely. Okay, and as before, I'm just going to go through and instead of just resoldering all of those, I'm going to replace all the LEDs. Press one if you'd like to watch me replace all the LEDs. Press two to skip ahead. Okay, so that's one side done. As you can see. There is quite a bit of the silt screen or whatever it's called that's come off the track. Now you can see bits of green left over, but it's um, yeah, it just comes off. So what I'll probably do is I'll I'll add some solder mask just to just to protect that bit. But you can see the solder joints now are all looking much better. I'll refrain from saying better than factory. I'm going to give it a, a proper clean before I, before I put the solder mask in. But I think everything's looking okay. So these are the ones I've done down this side here. And these are still the old ones that I'm going to take off. And they look almost identical. They're slightly longer in the body. But because these uh, the legs are sticking up slightly on these, they're actually at pretty much exactly the same height. So when they go in these little holes here... Uh, they're gonna they're gonna work perfectly, I think. I am just gonna check them and make sure that they all they all light up. There we go. Yep. 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 Nice. Just let me staple a bit Okay, that's that side done. Let's see if they're working okay. Excellent. Right, so now I need to put this black wire back on that has come off, which is for the negative battery terminal there. I do need to clean these because they're quite badly corroded. Do they come out? Yes, they do. Well, you can see the <laughs> so the corrosion's dropping off them. I should probably put them in some maybe some white vinegar. I think I'm gonna have to clean these two in situ because they don't want to come out, and I don't I don't want to break them. Oh, I've broken it. All right, just while I've got my contacts soaking in white vinegar, I'm gonna put some of this UV mask. On where the you know where the between the, the solder points where the the original silk screen has come off, just to give it a bit of protection. I, I'm not sure it'll make that much difference to be honest, but I'm just going to put some on my mat here and use that. Okay, I think that's done. I'm just going to leave the UV lamp on 
and move it around until all of that is dried. I'll see you in about eight hours. Right, so all the UV mask is now dried around here. It looks pretty good. It, um, I mean, you can tell that I've, I've used UV mask on it, but it's all nicely covered now. The spring contacts or the battery contacts have finished soaking in the white vinegar and they do look much, much better. So I'm going to let those dry off and I'm going to give them a cleaning IPA just to get rid of any vinegar residue. And what else I've done in here, this battery contact here would come away and it's, it actually snaps. So what I've done is I've put some aluminium tape just over the joint there and I've soldered the wire to and it, it is making a good connection of check continuity from here to here and it's all working fine there we go so I think that'll be okay this one's cleaned up okay so I think that'll all be that'll all be fine I cleaned all the contacts on the other side as well so when you push the chest pieces down hopefully they will make a good connection as well so I'm just going to dry these off, clean it up, put it all back together, and then I'm going to test it again and see what it's doing now. Alright, so that's it all back together. I've given it a bit of a clean. So let's just see if it's now working. I've got to say, it has cleaned up quite nicely. It uh, looks a lot better. Still a little bit, a little bit damp in places, but yeah, it's come up really nice. Alright, so let's switch it on. And there we go, at least that LED works. Right, uh, how do you actually play chess? You don't know how to play chess? No. Right, so new game. Okay. Right, so I think you know, I'm going for that means it's my go. And if that one's lit up there, it means it's the computer's go. So I'm going to start with, I don't know, this one. You push it in. And then move it to where you want it to go. Computers go. So I have to move that one. Push it in. And it wants to go there. Excellent. So now it's my go. And I'll do this one. To there. For fun. Okay. And he wants to move from there. To there. Right. So if I go from there. To there. Mm, and he wants to go from there to there. What does that mean? Oh, checkmate. Excellent. I lost. Stupid game. 